Hello everyone and welcome back to Hellion. With the Steam Summer Sale on, this is one space game I thought I would remind people of. It's currently in early access and the sale value is only 20% off, so not one of the eye-catching blockbusters that you might see, but I felt it might be one title people might miss. Also, I just wanted to check on its progress. One thing that we saw right up front was the addition of some official servers with nicer response times. So that's an improvement over the last time I played this. And uh, here I am picking a character name. I just went with a name that uh, chat suggested. This was done during a live stream. Uh, you won't be hearing any audio from the game because I was doing other commentary during the live stream and I wanted to shorten that up uh, to present it for YouTube. Uh, if you guys are interested in this game, uh, please tell me and I'll do uh, better videos on it in the future. But here I just wanted to remind people and give people an idea about the gameplay. One thing I do suggest is turning off motion blur. It's always turned on by default and it really makes things much choppier. Um, otherwise everything is a little bit smoother once you turn that off. Anyway, uh, so we start out. It didn't seem to have the bug that I had before when I first played it uh, where you'd clip into the side of the spacecraft. Everything is a little bit better as far as the motion is concerned. And I'm just checking things out. I have to remember how to play. Thankfully, whenever I play Hellions, uh, at least whenever I've played it so far, there have been helpful people who have given me advice uh, while playing it on Twitch uh, to make sure I am not uh, wholly lost, which has been very, very helpful, I must say. So here I am uh, checking on the power supply for this station, and uh, we see no fusion reactor available, but there are solar panels, but we really need to activate them and get them all warmed up. And so uh, presumably uh, right now as they power up, um, they're not pointed properly and so it's suboptimal. You see there's a suboptimal reading there and they're gradually turning and eventually they will uh, position themselves properly. I remember how to put on my spacesuit. So here I am getting ready for EVAs and helmet on, jetpack, jetpack. Get the jetpack, thank you. Come on. There we go. All right, so now we're ready. Artificial gravity control is nice, otherwise you're floating about. Artificial gravity control is, uh, it feels like just magnetized boots, basically. Um, that's practically what it feels like in the game. And uh, some sections just will randomly not have it if they don't have artificial gravity. Uh, so it's not like spinning or, or what you might think in other sci-fi games where everything is artificial gravity. There are floaty bits. Anyway, I have to get outside somehow. I didn't want to go out the main hatch because um, there's no airlock right now. So there's no way to depressurize and pressurize. So I, I went into the Jeffries tube and decided to go with uh, this route here. Uh, hoping that it would not like cause a great deal of oxygen a depletion in the station. I'm not entirely sure how that works, though I'm sure there is a mechanism for oxygen loss in the station. But anyway, I go out and uh, there you go. We're sucked out at fairly high velocity, actually. The, the force of the air rushing out does send me at a decent velocity out of that, that hatch. And I need to get back with my little jetpack. The first thing I decided to do was aim for this derelict module there and to poke around a bit to see if there's anything useful, maybe maybe a pressurized chamber. And so you see it's, uh, it's basically uh, dead in the water kind of thing. It doesn't have any computers on, no electronics on the outside to indicate that, uh, you know, controls and such. It's basically scrap and just floating about in there exploring. I hope there's a lot more of this sort of exploring in the game. I think there is. And uh, ability to reuse parts like this. Anyway, but that was uninteresting. So I moved on to this module over here, which turned out to be an airlock, uh, which uh, viewers recommended that I position towards the station. But before I got that message, I aimed to try and get inside and I moved over to that panel right there, which, uh, well, you, you see it looks a lot like the panel that was inside the unpressurized non-airlock hatch 
before and it's a manual override and when I open that it of course blasts me with a whole lot of air and shoots me away again. Alas. The sounds in this game are really good by the way. The soundscape is pretty darn good. So so I, it's, it's, I think that's improved actually over the last time I played. Eventually I get inside the module and close the door. But uh, that's apparently not what I'm supposed to be doing with this. I'm supposed to actually figure out how to dock it to the station so that I have a functioning airlock. That is that is the plot here. The pro part of the problem is I'm I'm not really reading things in the upper right hand corner. No, nor do I look at the tutorials, even though I know that they exist because I don't like reading things. Uh, well, I mean I don't like reading things to learn stuff when it comes to computers. I, I like to just fidget around with it and see what does what and mess around though ha having helpful viewers is always nice uh, so anyway here though I am uh, half half through my oxygen supply and I'm acutely aware of this so I decided to end my exploration of this module and instead do the docking and uh, to that end there is a little lit panel you can probably see a glow from the top of that module there and I have to head for that and that is where the the docking controls are. Nice of them to light it up like that. So here we are with the docking panel access and interact. You know, note some uh, choppiness. That's uh, that's still choppiness. That's it might be somewhat graphically related, but I've got a reasonably good system, so it might also be server related. Now the thing is, I have no idea how to dock in this game at this point. I do have my helpful viewers, but this is uh, this is a docking system I am not familiar with, and thank goodness I have experience in Kerbal Space Program because it would be a lot harder without that. It would be a lot harder to do EVAs like I've done flying around as well. Uh, a lot of the coordination was dependent on my experience in KSP. Uh, but yeah, trying to learn how to dock when your oxygen is low turns out not to be the greatest thing. And it doesn't have the oxygen bar here, it just tells you oxygen low. And so here I'm trying to line up, but my oxygen has been low for quite a while after all the maneuvering to get to this point. And uh, you'll see from the indicator my rotation is wrong anyway, uh, so it takes some time to correct that. Uh, ultimately I decided to abandon this attempt and instead get to somewhere with oxygen. You can see I'm down to just uh, two little um, bits on the oxygen bar there. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty desperate situation now. And I think there was a sort of heavy breathing sound effect as well. So it was audibly telling me that I was about to die. Anyway, uh, here we approach something that's glowing, but no, it's the solar panel utility access. It is not what I want. Um, it was suggested to me that I go towards that ship. That is a ship. That is a proper ship. It is not a station part. That is a ship we will eventually be able to fly around in if we survive. So that's nice. So that will that is our future ship right there. The thing is I have to get to the airlock and I don't know where the airlock is and I have that one little bit of oxygen left and I'm trying to find there it is. Uh, but yeah, you can see how I don't have oxygen really. Uh, it's uh, running on fumes. Yeah, and I'm panicking, panicking, and so my EVA skills are not not up to snuff. And I go whack, I overshoot the panel a bit. Oh, and there was also a little bit of lag in my own defense. Um, and the lag caused me to double click that depressurize button. And I died. And that's the first time I've died in this game, actually. The first time I played through it on live stream, and I made a video of that, um, I, I, I imagine more than a month ago. Um, I didn't die in that one. I managed to go out, I did some mining, I mined ore, and I came back, and I refined the ore, and I was very proud of myself, and I made a video, and I didn't die. Um, this time I died. <laughs> Uh, and, and it's interesting that what we're doing here is completely different from what I did there. There we did mining, we were, uh, we, I didn't have a ship, I didn't have all this docking to. I had never docked before in this game until now. Uh, this is 
this is a docking episode of Hellion. And, and so now I once again, now I know what to do. And I've had some practice with the docking controls. I go back and try to dock the module. I went out the main hatch this time, even though it uh, blew me away. And apparently there's no safe way to get out of the station until you add this airlock to it. Anyway, so docking engaged. I maneuver this module towards the station. And actually we're a lot closer now. Um, mainly because when I started docking initially, the first on the first try, I ac accidentally moved it away from the station. So you can see slowly, very patiently lining up as one does in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, try doing it one axis at a time. The one complication is that unlike in Kerbal Space Program, you've got rotation to worry about. You have to line up the rotation as well. So it's actually a little bit more complicated. And of course, you can't uh, go with the exterior view as a as a guide. You have to go with the interior view. It does uh, these controls are pretty good though. The information it gives you are is uh, is is enough. It is definitely enough. So it, it didn't take too long to pick it up with my KSB experience. But I have no idea how it would be if I didn't have that experience beforehand. So yeah, docking episode. I imagine there's quite a lot of other things to learn in this game. Uh, even though it's early access, it's quite a lot of fun. Just docking is quite a lot of fun, actually. Um, it is a real challenge, as, as mining was. And here we go. Slowly. You can see I've used a lot of the RCS fuel on this module, by the way. I used like half the RCS fuel just trying to dock it. So it's not like these things have unlimited fuel or anything. And I imagine you could do some mining to replenish the RCS fuel, or you'd have to do some sort of fabrication to do that. So it's serious stuff. Anyway, uh, here, I, uh, with uh, about two-thirds of my oxygen left, certainly more than half, I decide to go to the ship and try and dock the ship to the station at that airlock. And so here we are, flying by. It was tough for me to figure out where the ship was initially because the station was hiding it. Um, and I didn't really know which one it was in the list on the right hand side there. Uh, those designations aren't exactly clear. I, I don't know what each one means. But, uh, well, after this time I've got a little bit more of an idea. Okay, so as far as the ship goes, there isn't an external docking controls thing like there was with the station module, with the airlock module. Uh, here we actually go inside the ship and properly pli pilot it. From, from a pilot seat. And so I'm having a little bit of EVA issue there. I think that was a lag issue. It's sort of reminiscent of Kerbal's bouncing off of things, I feel. Anyway, I approach it from upside down, and uh, thankfully when you interact with it, it'll spin you the right, right way around, so that's good. Approach, there we go. All right, so depressurize, and once inside, of course, uh, we repressurize and after closing the door, and then I'm inside my little spacecraft. Now this is one of those places I, I didn't realize that this spacecraft had artificial gravity, but right about uh, here, yep. Suddenly the uh, the uh, I'll just call it magnetism. The magnetism kicks in, and so I flip around, and yeah, it's really annoying sometimes. So definitely grab onto the railings and uh, walk down carefully climb down carefully. A lot of those little pressurization system things hang out here. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I, I'll probably find out. Okay, so on to, not the bridge, I guess, the flight deck in this case. Though it doesn't really do flight per se. Cockpit. Okay, and so there's our little rig. Not entirely sure what kind of ship it is. Exploration ship, perhaps. Okay, and then uh, we seem to have a really big radar there. I actually need to take a seat to get to the real controls, which are those little buttons at the bottom there, those four. And one one of those is the docking controls. I'm trying to figure that out. It's, I feel uh, the seat is a little bit far back. Um, granted, it gives a nice view out of the windows, but I, I'd like to be closer to the panel. I wonder if there's a way of adjusting that. So anyway, uh, moving right along, docking. Very, very slowly, 
Um, I don't think this thing started out with a full tank of RCS fuel, actually. Uh, so I wanted to be careful. And um, here we go, lining up. You see a fair distance away lined up. But I think a little bit of a server lag was causing me trouble as far as keeping it together. Now here, I, I seem to be alright, but then it suddenly made a move to one side, right there. And then that totally threw me off when I tried to correct. I overcorrected and uh, yeah, had to back away and totally reset. I, the, the whole rotation thing confuses me because I'm not used to having to orient to a particular rotation. I really need to do that last instead of trying to do it early on. Uh, just try and do the other axes first and how a rotation last as we get closer in. But you can't wait too long because uh, it gets disorienting. Okay, here we go. It seems to be out. We, we were a little bit off. A little bit to the right. Uh, this is close enough. Yep, we do get magnetism in this, so it is sort of like stock Kerbal as well. We do get magnetism. And there we have it. We've got a ship docked to the station. And I don't know what exactly good that does or whether I should just have flown off in my ship and done other things. I'll probably find out later. Uh, next time I try this, uh, we'll see whether we can refuel with the station somehow, whether I need to... Uh, well, I definitely need to refill, uh, refill my jetpack. It currently doesn't have much oxygen left, or and it's depleted of other things. So I need to figure that out. I do get to um, recharging station to recharge it with electric charge, but still haven't quite figured out how to fill up the oxygen and propellant. Uh, that didn't seem to work out right. So I'll have to play more with that later. And uh, with this, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of Hellion. And if you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you'd like to watch more Hellion, please say so in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.